two marks, two more yet. So this screen is looking a little unusual, but I just wanted to go live and kind of give, um, just go live and kind of give like an opportunity to talk about like cooking and recipes, maybe a recipe somebody has made recently, um, or like maybe just talk about um, any questions regarding like recipes, kind of create like a community of um, viewers that are learning to cook or just like to cook, already know how to cook, who can help those that are learning like myself. Um, I see Brooklyn, what's up? Um, what, let me just start off by asking like, what did you have for dinner tonight? Just to make sure like you can hear me okay and um, I can see your comments and everything. So, um, yeah, me personally, I had Del Taco. I had the Beyond Mexi something burrito. It was really good. It was like Beyond Meat. Um, but can you hear me okay? Can you see me okay? Um, yeah, I am definitely going to talk about the live I did on Instagram last this last Saturday. It was incredible, first of all. Um, it was a, let me see if I could get this right, Squa spaghetti squash lasagna broccolini. But um, I posted some pictures on this Facebook, um, but I decided to do the live on Instagram just because I'm going to be going like back and forth. Um, but yeah, so uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I'm super excited to talk about the squash, what was it, squash, lagini, la, wait, squash, spaghetti, lasagna, broccolini. Um, it's like a tongue twister to say, but it is honestly so good. I um, Actually, I had um, somebody who had watched the live on Instagram, they actually like followed it and made, followed the recipe and made it themselves. And um, they, they also really enjoyed it. So, but the whole concept was like, you take the actual spaghetti um, squash and then you put it in the oven. And one problem that I ran into since I did the live with my best friend over in San Diego, we both didn't catch on the recipe to, like you cut this, um, the squash in half and then you put it on a baking sheet and you put it in the oven for like 40 or 50 minutes to soften it up. That way you can take the fork and turn the inside after you deseed it. Um, you turn the inside into like, by using the fork, it softens it and then it turns it into like, almost like pasta noodles. So, um, what, um, we did, the mistake we made was we didn't put them on the baking sheet upside down to where they were flat. Like once you cut it in half, we put them sitting up like bowls and somebody did tell me later, they messaged me and told me that like it's better to put them down because the heat and the and like kind of like the moisture will make it that much softer. We really didn't have a problem. They were still soft when we scraped them, but next time I do it, I'm definitely going to try to put them that direction, like down instead of up. Um, what else did we discover? Um, so let me know if you can hear me. Like, um, I'm I'm using this new mic, so I don't know like. Obviously, I can hear myself, but I don't know if I can be heard. Um, what else did we learn about that that squash? Oh, something else was like we didn't we forgot to deseed the squash. So after you cut it in half in the center, there's like an area that's just really like there's a lot of seeds and kind of like dark part of the. I'm guessing it's a vegetable, might be a fruit, but we started like, we got excited and we used the fork and we started scraping everything and then I realized like, wait, there's a bunch of seeds in here. We should have taken like a spoon and deseeded it. So if I do that recipe again, I would definitely make sure I deseed it first. We Luckily we caught that um, like on the first one because altogether there were four halves because we used two um, squashes each or two total. Oh, okay, let me look at this. Um, comment area oh it's quiet okay i'm gonna um remove this uh, mic and then i don't know if that's oh shoot 
Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I'm going to bring the mic like a little bit closer here. So hopefully that's a little better. Thanks for letting me know, Brooke. Thanks for watching. Um, hopefully that's better with the sound. So, um, yeah, those are just kind of like some things I ran into making the squash and some things I learned. Another thing that I discovered was like the broiler. So this, that particular recipe, the um, squash lasagna, wait, squash spaghetti lasagna broccolini uh, required the squash to be cooked in the broiler, which is like the bottom part or the top part of the oven. So that was kind of interesting to like realize the difference of the cooking and the speed, like it really speeded up the um, cooking process. So those are like the three things that I learned from the squash uh, recipe, the spaghetti squash. So um, yeah, I'm just kind of hoping, you know, that people will jump on and we can talk about any types of like advice for cooking or tips. Um, I see like Brooklyn, um, I moved the mic a little bit closer so hopefully you can hear me better but uh, I wanted to know um, like if you've done any cooking lately and I know you like to make like what was it you make mac and cheese um, is there anything else like you've recently cooked besides mac and cheese um, like or what did you have for dinner tonight was it like a cooked meal did your mom cook was it um, was it fast food did you go to a restaurant um, definitely let me know while we wait hopefully for more viewers I know it's super late but um, I plan to jump on live whether here or Instagram once a week um, to kind of talk about what I cooked on Saturday and then what I plan to cook the next Saturday and just like in general about like cooking so um, yeah I just really want to create like a little area where we can I guess share recipes share advice feedback um, tell stories you know about any cooking experiences we've had but yeah, I want to jump on here for like 20 minutes once a week. I was thinking Mondays, but I switched it to Thursdays. It works a little better with my schedule. So hopefully after a few times of coming live like this and discussing cooking, you know, and after it becomes a little more consistent, there'll be more viewers and we can actually have like a full on like conversation about recipes. Um, in the meantime, I am going to like talk a little bit about the channel and um, my future plans with it and everything. So I definitely realized that um, having somebody cook with me, oh, you like to cook potatoes. Okay, yeah. So um, like chop them up and then fry them in oil or like baked potatoes. Um, yeah, I love doing that too. I actually have been doing a lot of baked potatoes right now, but last night I was considering heating up some oil and chopping them up and doing like, what are those called? Like, I can't remember what they're called. Um, something like skillet, skillet potatoes or something. But um, yeah, those are really good for sure. Uh, so... I realized with the live cooking that having somebody cook with me every Saturday is very beneficial. So um, I plan to have like a guest, I don't know what to call it, a guest appearance every Saturday to help like read the comments and everything. So that's like one change I'm making and so if depending on who the guest is, like I also decided to try to cook, cook the meal in their kitchen just to kind of like change it up a little bit. And that way like anybody viewing won't get sick of seeing like the same old background even though it's a beautiful kitchen and like beautiful background. It's just kind of fun to, to use other, like have to like get used, to, it's like challenging to, to have to get used to like where's this stove and it's just gonna make me overall like better at what I'm doing and so far. 
since I've been doing these recipes, I've really gotten a lot more comfortable in this kitchen. But, you know, um, I want to like kind of, I guess, expand that. Um, another change that I am making is instead of just um, using the printed out recipes that um, my mom gave me originally when she had print them, printed them out for me, um, I decided to like go on her Facebook and there were like over 45 recipes on there that she shared and so when she would share these recipes on her Facebook she would say like oh this looks good or oh, I want to try that um, I don't know which one she actually tried and didn't but I pulled them all off of her Facebook and downloaded them like to my phone so I definitely plan to incorporate those now and actually the spaghetti squash that I did was from um, one of the recipes off of her Facebook so um, what I'm going to do is just kind of like read some of the recipes that I found from her Facebook because um, next or Saturday when I when I do my next live I'm going to be pulling uh, the recipe from there and I what I'm going to do is whoever is like the guest appearance I'm gonna have them pick and that's actually what I did this last Saturday with um, my best friend Johnny and it worked out really good and um, so um, let's see, I'm looking, I'm scrolling through here on my phone, looking for where I s downloaded those recipes so that I can like read them off just to give anybody watching like an idea of what types of recipes I'll be making um, in the future. And I'm super excited about like the new recipes and I'm also super excited about adding like a guest appearance every Saturday just because like it is tremendous how... I mean, like, the help is, how it's, it's like a tremendous amount of help, you know, like having somebody there to like prep, like maybe cut this while I do this, or especially reading the comments because that's something that I was really struggling with. So, um, one of the dishes on here is how to make sloppy joes, and the picture, I'm going to try to show it to the camera, but I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Um. But it just like right off the bat, it looks incredible. Like it has like a, let me see if I can do this here. It has. Then it has like toppings. So it's a little video and that's kind of what. And there's crab cakes, which that is going to be an interesting live because I don't do seafood um, but I do want to make every single recipe and I want to get comfortable because I feel like cooking seafood is really advanced for me because I've never cooked any type of seafood so I want to learn and challenge myself so um, these are crab cakes so what they want to make out of all of these recipes uh, that were on my mom's Facebook um, and then we have the spaghetti squash lasagna with broccolini that I already made um, okay I also um, another change that I'm gonna make is so sometimes especially if it's like a casserole or something that needs to be like cooked in the oven there's like all this downtime during my life and I'm always trying to figure out scrambling to figure out like what to do during that downtime so on my mom's Facebook there were also recipes for fun little like desserts or drinks like certain cocktails so um, I'm gonna be incorporating those you know during Let's see if I can. So it's something to do with like fish. I know it's hard to see. So you use food coloring, mason jars, candy. Okay, so jelly beans. Oh, so this one might not. 
not work because you have to refrigerate it. Oh, and then you put those little, um, those fish, those candy fish. So that actually looks really good and like a lot of fun. And I definitely think I will be, I will actually incorporate that into the channel somehow because it's something my mom shared on her Facebook. So obviously she also thought it was. Jalapeno popper. Um, yes, come on. So it's jalapeno. Oh, I lost it. Give me just a second. Sorry, bear with me. Um, dang it. It looks so good too. Okay, hopefully I can. It might take me a second to pull it back up. But yeah, the jelly bean and those little Swedish fish in a mason jar it looks like a little fish tank but it's like edible so that is definitely something i'm looking forward to doing i don't know how i'm going to figure out the whole um put it in the fridge for four hours i'll probably make one ahead of time to show and taste and everything but i'll make one with the channel you know uh with the live okay i'm almost there so we have sloppy joe's crab cakes Party Panda Party Fish Tank. Okay, so this one was Jalapeno Popper Casserole. So that sounds really good. Um, this is like the photo. And so again, these are recipes that were on my mom's Facebook that I'll be making. Um, this, is, this one looks like a macaroni salad. Let me see if I can play this one. So sour cream, garlic, vinegar, salt, pepper. So this is like a macaroni salad that was on there. Bacon. salad is what that one's called and that was from cooking panda so I'm just like wanting to give a shout out to whoever um, actually made these recipes that my mom shared so so far looks like three of them were from cooking panda one the spaghetti squash and delicious Facebook recipes. Okay, so there was also a zucchini parmesan chicken. So that looks really good. Here's a photo of that one. So I'll be doing that one eventually. This is, um, tells you about grilled cheese. So again, I'm just super excited about these because these were recipes that my mom liked and shared. Um, it says, wait, don't put butter on that grilled cheese sandwich. Do this instead. So it's some sort of trick with your grilled cheese. There's also grandma's homemade potato soup. So I've never really made a soup before. So I'm super excited that I want to learn how to be a better cook and so far I have definitely gotten more comfortable uh, so all right so I'm excited for that one um, the next one is a crock pot green chili enchilada soup so that looks really good. Um, crock pot green chili enchilada. I'm gonna play the video for that one too. And um, another soup. So I'm I'm thrilled about that. Let me see if this video is gonna play. And um, it wouldn't play, but that one was by the Idea Room. 
So thank you Idea Room for that recipe. Um, this is a, the next one is a crock pot brown sugar pineapple ham. Um, I'm so excited. I made a ham like eight years ago, almost 10 years ago. I had so much fun making it and learning how um, my friend Anthony actually like taught me everything he knew. He also had taught me how to make like a really good salsa that I still make till this day. So um, we kind of lost touch. Like, I don't know what happened to Anthony. Um, he moved away. I don't, I don't know, but um, I'd love to reconnect with him because we did, he did teach me about cooking um, before I ever knew I was even into it or obviously before I started these recipes. So crock, so you do this um, particular ham and it's from Incredible Recipes and um, you do it in the crock pot so that's going to be so much fun. Uh, I've never used a crock pot so that's going to make it that much more fun. Um, this other recipe from Tasty Recipes doesn't say what it is um, but I'll show the video. So, I don't eat fruit, um, I legit like cannot stand fruit, but like I said, I'm willing to, I'm definitely willing to make all of these because, oh, and then you cook it, okay. Okay, so it's kind of like, actually I think I've seen somebody make something similar to that. Let me get this thing to stop. Um, but yeah, I, I want to, like, that looks like it requires a little bit of, like, baking. Uh, I've seen there was some sort of flour. I've never worked with flour, cornstarch, um, fruit biscuits, any of that. So um, this is just expanding my cooking ability. Um, anybody just joining in, like, thank you so much for watching. And um, I'm basically just coming on here. I decided to come on, uh, I think, Thursdays just to kind of, like, talk about recipes, talk about the channel, um, interact with anybody that's following the channel that wants, you know, that has any, like, um, any cooking stories or questions or advice or um, recipes they want to share with me or, um, you know, I definitely will be talking about, like, different recipes, like, um, I'll definitely talk about the recipe that I did the prior Saturday, which I already covered um, the squash lasagna, squash spaghetti lasagna broccolini that I did last Saturday. Um, kind of talked about like what. And so if I make it in the future, I'll definitely do those. Um, those like, I guess technical little details that I didn't do right the first time. Um, and then I'll talk about like what I plan to make next Saturday or maybe, I don't know if I can actually talk about what I will make the next, the following Saturday because it depends on if I have we decided that recipe with whoever will be guest appearing. Um, and then, you know, just talking about some of the changes and what direction the channel is going in. Um, just like kind of creating like a community to talk about like maybe what a viewer had for dinner that night, what they cooked or what they like to cook or um, what they've learned how to cook recently. Just anything I can to keep this channel and keep like the community of like cooking recipes, things like that, um, ingredients. Um, another recipe that was on my mom's Facebook is crock pot chicken dumplings. So I love chicken and dumplings. Um, if you've never tried it, definitely try it somehow, some way, um, because it is a really, it's like a really good like winter type filling comfort food. Um, these look really, and um, that was from Spin with Pennies um, is the recipe website that had that recipe. Um, these are Ruben's sandwich sliders, and that's also from um, Spend with Penny's Facebook recipes. 
And these are like um, hand sliders. I'll show the video of this one too. Um, because these are so, I've had these before, but I've never made them. But these will, this will be a fun live. These are really good for like summertime. Hop a little closer, some more meat, more cheese. And you spread them on top. So those are really tasty. I've actually like I've definitely had these before or something similar, and I always love them. Um, let's see what else. Oh my gosh, these look like super incredible. Jalapeno popper stuffed bacon chicken. So they're like, wow, let me show you. I'm, I'm going to have to do the video for this one too. Jalapeno popper stuffed bacon chicken. And this is from My Recipe Panda. So let me see if I can get this video going. So those are the jalapenos. You do see them. That's your chicken breast there. You slice it down. You fill the jalapeno with cream cheese. You roll your chicken around it. Oh, this one's gonna be so much fun to make. And then you wrap bacon around it. Put a toothpick through it. And then obviously you bake them in the oven. So that one's gonna be so much fun. And if anybody watching this live ever wants to be like um, a guest, have like a guest appearance on the cooking channel, like I said, every Saturday I plan to have somebody, even if it's just um, my friend and roommate Eddie, somebody to help me like read the comments, help me prep. Um, another recipe that was on my mom's Facebook is how to make free cheese mac. So a mac and cheese with three different cheeses. Um, Brooklyn, if you're still watching, I think that you would really like that. So maybe that one, you can be the guest appearance um, because I know you make a mad mac and cheese. I, we've FaceTimed while you were making mac and cheese a couple times. Um, this is um, a dessert, peanut butter cup cheesecake bites. So any desserts, like baking or fudge or anything, um, I've, I'm like so afraid of baking. I've never done any of it. So... I'm excited to be challenged with this one. Um, this is from Tip Tip Hero. Um, this is what they're supposed to look like. I can't guarantee when I cook, when I make them, that that's what they're gonna look like. Because, but I'm gonna play the video. Hungry here, but those do look really good. I think it said that something went wrong, um, but. Yeah, those are. That's gonna be um, something that I'll make while well, something else is like baking. This is another. Um, what's it called? Like slow cooker or crock pot recipe. So that's chicken. I know that one's kind of hard to see. Um, let me see if the video will play on this one. So it looks like chicken breast in a crock pot. Enchilada sauce. So I'm guessing you set a timer. four minutes, four hours, uh, I don't know, I, I know nothing about crock pots. Make sure you're, okay, you shred up your chicken. Olives. So this one will be um, fun to make. It looks like it tastes really good. And again, these are all recipes from my mom's 
um, Facebook that I found that she shared. Looks like cheese, more olives, and then probably put the lid on and let it slow cook. Oh wow, yeah, that looks incredible. Yeah, so um, I'll definitely enjoy making that one. Yeah, that looks good. Um, let's see, another recipe that was on there. So that one was from Incredible Recipes. Um, oh, this one literally has like my mouth watering right now. So it is Outrageous Lemon Lovers Truffle? Truffle, maybe? Tr truffle? Um, it's from Melissa's Southern Style Kitchen. So just kind of wanting to give a shout out to anybody that like, you know, um, who owns this recipe or who posted this recipe or whatever, but you know, my mom did share it. And so that's why I'm also sharing it and eventually making it. Um, so the, when I have like a dessert recipe, I plan to make it in between, like for example, that, um, crock pot, slow cooker, enchilada, chicken casserole, while that's cooking and doing its thing, I'm trying to like stay live and do something else until it's done cooking. So this outrageous lemon lovers trifle, I think, looks really good. Let me get that lighting right. Whoa, what is that? Yeah, so baking, okay, so it looks like bread. So baking is so new to me. I'm so excited to... This one's kind of hard to, to see what's going on. But. So you cut your cake up into little squares, it looks like. That's what's in the center, and you kind of layer with like your lemon flavoring. Yeah, that looks good. My mouth, and then you refrigerate it. You refrigerate. So I'm so excited for doing that dessert um, from Melissa's Southern Style Kitchen. Um, another one is 15 minute lazy noodles, and that's from my recipe panda. Um, it looks like a pad thai. Like I'll show you the picture of it if I can. This is kind of hard for me. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see there, but um, maybe we'll watch the video on this one too. I don't know what that was. I couldn't see it. It looks like spinach. There's your noodles and your soy sauce. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks super easy, hence like why it's called um, 15 minute lazy noodles. And again, that's from my recipe panda. Um, this is from Skinny Taste, and um, it is grilled shrimp vegetable bowl. So I don't do a lot of shrimp. I don't do a lot of seafood, but if I am going to eat seafood, I can like bear a little bit of shrimp, and it, I usually only like grilled shrimp. So this is like right up my alley. And also my mom did do grilling like in the summertime. She at least like once or twice a week would... Um, grill up some chicken, steak, um, she's done shrimp, uh, one time we did like shish kebabs, um, so this is like, this, I'm not surprised that my mom shared this one on her Facebook, um, and then, you know, Eddie, my roommate, he literally has like five or six, um, um, barbecues, so, I'm sure I will have a grill to cook that on because out of five or six barbecues, one of them is going to work. He knows a lot about barbecuing, so I'll probably actually make sure that he is the co-host on that one when it's time to do that one, the shrimp. Uh, let me show you guys a picture. I kind of lost it. Um, somebody messaged me and said that they wanted to join the live, but it keeps kicking them out. So um, it, I just wanted to read what that said, but it, it kind of um, I kind of lost my place. Um, I 
Okay, I'm almost there. Let's see. Okay, where were we? Shrimp. So here's a picture of the grilled shrimp. And that looks good for being seafood and for being shrimp. It looks good. I'm going to play the video just to kind of like regroup. Shoot, maybe. So grilled shrimp vegetable bowl. So shrimp, olive oil, onion powder. And you mix it all up, and then fruit skewers, and then you prepare your vegetables. So yeah, this will be a fun one to make um, with Eddie. He really likes like um, topping, so salt and pepper on all your vegetables. You grill everything up, your vegetables and your shrimp. You cut something up, and you put avocado, add your shrimp, and eat it as like a vegetable bowl. So that one will be nice to make. Oh, the next one, well actually there's one that was skipped, um, which is one of my favorite things to eat, um, Salisbury steak. So this is slow cooker Salisbury steak, so it has mushrooms and then meat. I'm not going to play the video, but I'll show you a picture of what that looks like with, with all of the mushrooms. So I'm excited to make that one. Honestly, my mom had like really good taste in food. I don't know if I just say that because like I grew up eating all of her food, so I like all of these things, and it kind of makes sense that she would share certain recipes because they were like right up her alley and mine too. Um, so yeah, I, I'm super stoked that I found all of these. Can't wait to start making them. Can't wait to have guest appearances. Can't wait to eventually make my own cookbook based off of all of these recipes. So. Um, the shrimp, um, again, was from Skinny Taste recipes, but um, something that will be involved in making this cookbook is because of like copywriting and everything, um, getting a hold of all of these like I don't even know what publishers that publish and put out these recipes. Like for example, Skinny Taste, who made the um, grilled shrimp and vegetable bowl recipe. And, and made the video and all that, but getting down to the bottom of like who owns this recipe or who published it or something so that I can ask for permission to put in my book. So I don't know what that's called. So like if anybody that's watching, oh, hey, hey, Alexis, um, I'm glad you it let you come in. I don't know what, what was up with that. Um, hopefully you're not hungry watching this because like this, I'm getting really hungry with all of these recipes. What I'm trying to do is like just talk about um, anything to do with like cooking, recipes, the channel, um, once a week, um, talk about what I made the following Saturday, what I plan to make, you know, up, the upcoming Saturday, um, just to kind of create like a community of like cooking, the recipes and ingredients, um, storytelling about cooking, kind of like I guess what I did on the Instagram live. Um, so I'll be going back and forth between like Facebook and Instagram to do this, but um, each week, you know, um, but yeah, so Alexis, um, I'm so curious to know, like, do you cook? Um, is that something you enjoy? Do you know how to cook? Um, if so, what is something that you've cooked like recently or something you want to cook? You know, so definitely like let me know in the comments. Um, this is this whole thing is about like interacting and conversating. So it's not just about me like babbling about all of these recipes. The recipes that I am babbling about, though, are recipes that I located on my mom's Facebook ones that she shared, which she shared a lot of recipes on there. There's like over 45 that I've downloaded to my phone from, I shared to my Facebook from her Facebook. Um, and I can heart or something if you enjoy cooking. Um, if you want to learn how to cook, throw out a heart, you know. A thumbs up something like that um, if you are like an expert cook like you should be a chef um, make me something and bring it to me um, no but for for real like um, let me know let me know what's up let me know if you want to learn let me know your favorite dish to make let me know like your grandma's famous recipe 
Um, I want to get the conversation going in the comments, you know what I'm saying? So, um, the more I can talk, like, to anybody viewing, like, the less you guys have to hear me just, like, babble, babble, babble. So, um, anybody that's watching this, you know. So, um, this next one I am so beyond excited about because I've never done fried chicken. Um, and I'm definitely all about, uh, oh, shoot. So I guess there are some comments here. So use protein with that if you don't want shrimp. Um, makes sense, yeah. So I'm glad you said that because that's something else that I'm going to be doing is like substituting certain things because all the a lot of these recipes require like so much cheese and sour cream and like grow my heart and my cholesterol. And my hypertension and all of that cannot keep up with all of that. So um, I plan to be like slowly incorporating, incorp wait, incorporating um, some substitutes, you know, and like protein, like you said, um, like this fried chicken might have to wait for, for cheat day. Um, but regardless, I'm so excited to do it because I've never ever done fried chicken. I I don't like to eat fried chicken. Actually, I have a story about fried chicken, but I don't want to gross anybody out. So if you have like a weak stomach or whatever, or you're like, you know, in PETA or whatever. Um, All right, I'm not seeing any responses here, but I'm gonna tell somebody left so that they don't they don't do chicken. I get it. Basically, what happened was it was in Tennessee, and if you guys want me to keep going, give me a thumbs up, like for real. If somebody give me a thumbs up, I'll keep going. But it was at like a picnic and all they had was fried chicken and I don't like fried chicken because for me it's really hard to eat like it kind of grosses me out you know I'm not like hating on anybody that does like um, fried chicken I wish that I did I wish that I it didn't bother me as much as it does oh hey Kayleen okay um, secret okay I got you yeah so you're not going to share, I get that. Um, this chicken... It had a feather on it. And I, I took a couple bites before I realized there was a feather coming out of it. Like a full-on feather, like a chicken feather. Is that normal? Like anybody watching that cooks and or is familiar with like fried chicken like is that supposed to happen is that some is that a thing but I know I wasn't seeing things but after that I decided I legitimately just don't think I can eat fried chicken ever again um because it just like I don't know the whole all of it just was too much for me has that happened to anybody else like maybe I'm uneducated with fried chicken and that's like common um, I also have a friend that like loves fried chicken and she, um, was eating it one time and she literally like sucked the marrow out of the bone. Like that's how much she loves it. And I guess that's also like a thing. And I know I'm so sorry, <laughs> Kayleen, like, I know it's gross. I know like all of it. So I'm going to like change the subject, but unfortunately one of the recipes that my mom shared is fried chicken. Um, my mom never made fried chicken. Um, growing up or anything like I really I've probably only eaten fried chicken like two times in my whole life um, like KFC boneless skinless you know what I think I might have to take that route for for this the boneless skinless um, for this recipe because it, it's it's a lot for me to do the whole like bones and but let me let me see what this recipe is all about um so again this was on my mom's Facebook and she shared it, so I shared it to myself so that I can start making some of these recipes. I don't know if she ever had a chance to make any of them. Um, so, how to make Tyler's perfect fried chicken, and this is from the Food Network. So, um, I'm going to show the video, but here's the picture of like the the fried chicken right here, and 
hopefully by watching the, the video we'll be able to tell This one freaks me out. It looks like it's loading. So we're going to take a pot and we're going to fill it probably three fourths away with peanut water. Well, unfortunately, this one's doing like more loading than playing. Um, it looks like they're soaking a lot of different herbs and spices. And yeah, this one's not going to work. But I'll look into it. I don't know. I'll do my research and see if, if that's one I can actually do. I mean, I'm going to be doing crab. I'm going to be doing, um, yeah, um, good night, Kayleen. I, I miss you too. Um, we've got to get together. we got to make sure we get together. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you don't dream about fried chicken. Um, I would definitely love for you to send what you do for your fried chicken, unless it's one of your secret family recipes. But, and if it is, I would feel so honored. Um, but yeah, definitely send me that. I would love to know because I am going to have to like research how to do this one because I don't love everything she shared. You know, I don't do fruit. I don't do seafood, but I'm going to do it because I want to learn how to prepare seafood. I'm not like allergic or anything, so I'm willing to try it. You know, it's like, how do you know if you don't try type thing? Um, so like those crab cakes and all that. I've never had crab, but I just know that it's seafood and I don't really like seafood. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm going to explore this fried chicken route. Um, so thank you again, anybody that's watching and that just joined in. I'm just talking about cooking, talking about recipes, talking about the channel, um, having a good time here, uh, encouraging anybody, you know, to let me know what they cook, what they like to cook. If they cook, if they know how to cook, if they want to learn to cook, anything like that. I know Brooklyn's watching. She said she likes to cook potatoes. Um, I'm still curious to know like how she prepares her potatoes, like um, dice them up or cut them like kind of like potato chips, like slice them or dice them. Um, so I cannot wait to get to a point with cooking that. I know what knife to use for what and um, like the difference between like what dicing and like basically if I get like a it's not I just found what I do myself yeah yeah definitely let me know uh, with that chicken how, how you do it so that I can have some guidance because I'm totally lost when it comes to that um, I want to get better about like measurements cutting um one time a friend of mine she had like a pork roast and i was at her house and she was like i need to get ready i have to go do this and like i need to make dinner for the kids here will you make this and it was just like a big chunk of like um pork roast and i just stared at it like i did not know what to do with it and she basically bounced and these kids needed to be fed so i ended up slicing like this big chunk of pork roast and I made like, pork chops out of it but like trying to cut through that to make like the slices to make the pork chops and I fried them up it turned out really good but I don't think that's like the intentions of that um big pork roast like that I think there's um actually I talked to somebody about it later on and they said I should have just put the whole thing like in the bro like seasoned it up and put it in the broiler and then cut it and like cooked it in the oven so that was a lesson learned, but uh, something I learned during that was cutting raw meat. It, it was like, it was difficult. It was tough. It took me, I was, by the time I was done, I was like, I don't even want to fry these things up. Like that just took so long, took so much energy. So I want to know like what knives to use to do what things. And um, I think I can learn that all from my roommate, Eddie. He has so many knives and he sharpens them with like a knife sharpener he's like all about it and um hopefully throughout these lives he can teach me so that in the future i will have more experience with that um so let me continue on with these recipes every time my phone um 
shuts off or like goes into um, power saving mode, it like loses my place on my messenger where I had saved all of these recipes that I'm sharing. So let me go back to where I was. I think we were on fried chicken and uh, okay, we're getting closer here. Fried chicken. The next one is some sort of taquito. Um, cream cheese and chicken taquito. So that sounds bomb. And that's from Lil, Lil Luna's Kristen Merkley's recipes. Um, I'm going to show what they look like. So that's um, cream cheese, chicken, um, taquitos. And I'm actually going to play the tacos so can't wait to do that one um, so thank you to Lil Luna's Kristen Merkley for posting that recipe um, and you know making it accessible for my mom to share on her Facebook because like I said um, I don't know if she ever made any of these and, and explored any of these recipes, but the fact that I'm making them and like kind of honoring, you know, a lot of them she would say things like, oh, this looks good. Oh, I can't, um, I want to try that or whatever. So it's just it's like super special for me. Um, this next one will be fun <sighs> to make during like while something's baking. Um, it's cinnamon roll apple pie. Um, just the picture looks, and I don't do fruit. I don't really do like pies unless it's like chocolate, but I don't know how to explain when like you're not all about it, but you're not against it. And my preferences and apple pie is not like if i had to pick a pie it would be like chocolate cream mousse or something um pumpkin pie is good but i'm down to try some apple pie um so this is what it looks like and i think like not only do i not really do like fruit but oh and this is from the karen clark recipes on facebook so thank you for Providing that recipe, um, not only do I not do fruit, I don't like fruit, but um, I did eat some apple pie one time and then I got like the flu, like the stomach flu or something or food poisoning or I don't know what it was, but like the apple pie was the last thing I ate. I was super young, probably like 12. So after that, like I do have a hard time eating apple pie, but I'll still, I still eat it. It took me a long time to be able to. Uh, the other recipe is avocado chicken salad and this looks so bomb this looks like something for the summertime um, definitely looks like something that my mom either has made or would make would have made I guess you could say um, but it's from Natasha's kitchen .com. so like check it out um, between now and the time I actually make it but uh, avocado chicken salad this is what it looks like super like colorful dish so it has like tomatoes, egg, avocado, let me see what else is in there, corn, so I'm going to play the video on this one, possibly, it looks like it's loading. So what is that?
um, corn, fresh corn, chicken avocado, fresh corn, bad Wi-Fi, um, chives, bacon, okay. Ooh, so David, thanks for joining. I didn't know you were here. Um, so you Facebook that I found that I plan to be making. Uh, I will be letting the whoever's guest appearing on the channel for that week pick which recipe they want to make from all of these that I'm sharing right now and make them accordingly. So it looks like she liked it too. So yeah, hopefully whoever guest appears on the cooking channel next or soon will choose to make that one because it sounds it looks like it's something that's perfect for summertime. Um, so this is how to make zucchini cheesy bread. Okay, so that sounds interesting. Um, it's from Delicious Recipes. And I'm definitely going to play this video because I'm really curious. Um, and also I'm really excited um, to actually in the future make this one because it sounds it sounds good. Um, zucchini cheesy bread. I don't I don't know. It looks good in the picture. So let me just get to it and show you. You know, I may need to turn this Wi-Fi off real quick. Okay. So so far they are shredding up the zucchini. And you know, using like a, ch a cheese shredder and making it slight, like uh, shredding it, putting egg, um, salt and pepper, some mozzarella cheese. I'm not sure what that last ingredient was, I missed it. Mix it all together. Some more seasoning. You put your mixture on a baking sheet, you bake. Okay, so. I'm going to have to look at that one closer, um, and then you top it off with parsley and red pepper flakes because I'm not sure if there was bread involved or not, so, um, but again, that was from Delicious, De or Delish Recipes, so thank you for posting that um, so it could be shared. Um, this looks like a dessert type recipe that my mom shared called lemon zucchini bread. So I guess that would be like a dessert. Um, looks like this. Let's see. Like it has like a little icing on it. Lemon zucchini bread. Um, if you guys want to see that video, give me a thumbs up uh, so that I know that these videos are, you know, that you can discovered on my mom's Facebook with this live. So uh, there was an option on the Facebook live to share my screen and that would have been ideal, but it wasn't wanting to work. So in the future, Is Cajun shrimp and sausage skillet. Um, I don't know. Cajun is kind of like a. I've had Cajun. And I, the spice, it's different. Um, definitely never like cooked anything Cajun, so I'm glad for this recipe. Um, these recipes that my mom shared are so diverse, and I'm super thankful for that because it's giving me like, you know. Um, it's giving me, I guess, different types of foods to prepare, different like approaches to, it's teaching me, you know. Um, it's one thing to put some like beans and meat in a tortilla and call it a taco, you know, but like um, these are like pretty intense or advanced as far as my level of cooking goes. So 
it's kind of wide, widening my like horizon of what I can and can't cook, what I like to cook, what I understand how to cook, what I don't know how to cook, all of that. So um, anybody joining in, like if you like to cook all the time and you're a really good cook, let me know. I want to know, you know, um, if you're just learning um, like me, let me know. Um, if you have something that you really, really like to cook, it's like one of your favorite things to cook, I want to know. Um, if there's something you hate to cook, um, like maybe fried chicken, for example, let me know. Um, you know, like I, the reason I'm doing these lives midweek is to learn more about cooking through the audience um, to kind of create like a, um, like just to create an area to. you got from a grandparent that's like a secret recipe that you can talk about but you're not going to give the secret anything like that it's all fun for me uh, I actually only planned on going live for 20 minutes and I've been live for like over an hour talking about these recipes because obviously I enjoy it which I had no clue I was going to enjoy when I started making all of my mom's recipes originally I was just going to do it just for myself just for peace of mind and heart, you know? And then um, I decided like I wanted to capture the whole journey of cooking these recipes that my mom gave to me before she passed away. So I was just gonna record them, not live, and post them to like my YouTube channel so that I had them to refer to and like look back on for myself. Then I decided, well, if I'm already, already going to be recording them, I might as well just go live while I do it because it, why not invite viewers to like embark on this journey with me so that's how that all started so basically after I go live then I download the live to my computer edit out some try to speed it speed certain things up etc and then post it to or upload it to my youtube channel um so yeah, during all of this, I just like went into it like, let me just do this and then realized like, wow, I'm really enjoying this. Um, I'm enjoying like how much I'm learning. I, sometimes I feel like when I'm learning, I can feel my head, like my brain, like getting bigger. Uh, and like right now, you know, I'm going to school full time. And sometimes after doing like hours and hours of schoolwork, my head feels like it literally like grew. So when I'm doing all this cooking with it all being so new to me, like that's how I feel and then with it being so new it's also super exciting um, anybody like for example my roommate and good you know he doesn't get excited about it but I'm super excited about it because it's new I'm learning it's fun for me um, Eddie's like 78 years old so it's been really um, convenient having him around for like questions with these recipes and um, look I'm really looking forward to him being like a guest on the channel because Eddie is a hoot. He live for over an hour basically the last time I went live, I went on, not the last time, but like when I did this, I, I did this on Instagram and I had so much fun doing this and talking about recipes, talking about the channel, talking about um, like live streaming, talking about YouTube. And I ended up staying live for four hours and Instagram actually cut me off. Like they were like, yeah, you, you can't be live for longer than four hours. And they just like cut me off. So um, I didn't get a chance to save that and put it on the channel. I wish I would have, but I'm definitely going to be saving this and um, putting it on the channel. The channel, in case you don't know or are not su subscribed to it already, is called My Mother's Menu. Um, so that's on YouTube. But yeah, so that night I had so much homework I should have been doing and I neglected it. 
And on Instagram Live, it doesn't tell you like how, or I didn't know how to see how long I had been live, and it felt like I had only been live like one hour. And then all of a sudden, like I, I was learning about how Instagram Live works, and so I like, um, I clicked on like the live button, and it popped up that I had been live for like three hours and something. I was really surprised because it didn't feel like that at all. Um, so I, I do have homework to get started on tonight. I'm not going to be live for four hours, but maybe, you know, hopefully like 20 more minutes um, so I can go over these recipes. Fun is how to make loaded slow cooker potatoes. And um, Brooklyn, if you're still watching, I I'm, can't really see who is and isn't watching. And I'm afraid to touch anything on here because I don't want to like ruin the live. But um, if you are watching, this might be something you might want to try. Um, I don't know if you've ever used a slow cooker or ever want to learn to use a slow cooker. But this one. So these are, what did it say? Um, loaded slow cooker potatoes and it's from Delish Recipes. So thank you Delish. Um, I'll show the video for this one. Wait. Um, oh yeah, I don't know if I finished saying that I wanted to make a cookbook of all of these recipes. I don't know what that's called, so like if anybody's watching knows what I'm talking about. When, like I used to have a book that was like, um, photography, and it was a, a lot of different people, or a lot of people, different people's work. Like their photographers different photographers work but all in one book like a collaboration type book so I don't know if they got permit how they got permission from each and every one of those photographers to like put their work in this one book but that's what I want to do I want to take all of my mom's recipes and put them in one book and um, I want to have it basically for like the sole purpose of um, I kind of have that already I've printed all of these out and put them in a binder but I want to be able to give the book to family members, my, you know, my nieces, my friends, um, viewers that are interested in all of the recipes that I've made, like here they are, you know, all in one place. So, um, that's something that I would love to do eventually with all of these recipes and with this channel and everything is have like an actual book. So if there's any publishers that are watching this, um, I just described to my mother's name and turned on, oh, okay. Um, I just just describe subscribe to my mother's menu and turn on oh notices thank you David yeah um, I try to edit the video on Sunday and then have it posted to the channel by Monday I haven't um, finished editing the squash video yet because I'm having a lot of fun editing that one because that was just a fun video but I plan to have that on there very soon and um, this will be on there following that and then next Saturdays will be on there on Sunday or Monday so like you get the point um, so yeah no no thank you for um, subscribing to the channel I actually saw that I had a subscriber today and kind of like celebrated you know did a little happy dance to be honest with you um, so if that was you like thank you um, I cannot wait right now it's like 26 subscribers but Soon, I really believe it'll be like 26k, you know, that's the goal. Uh, that would be wonderful. So, I really appreciate you subscribing and especially turning on those notices because that'll that helps too. So, like, thank you very much, David, and, and thank you again for just your help with the channel. And um, I'm so stoked that you made one of those recipes, like, that just makes my entire week, to be honest with you. Um, definitely makes not that all of this this feels worth it because of, you know, the moral behind it, honoring my mom and this and that, but like that makes it that much more worth it. So the people are actually trusting me making these um, meals like enough to make it themselves. So um, one area I need to get better about is like posting the actual recipe and then also giving like shout outs to whoever like shared the recipe or I guess like originally posted the recipe um, because there are some like copyright issues and I just want to make sure that I'm giving credit where credit's due to be honest with you um, because I didn't make the video of how to do the recipe or I didn't write out the recipe I found it online you know so 
I want to give credit to that, um, but I definitely need to start posting the actual like um, instructions on how to make these um, recipes instead of just following along type type deal with the lives. But um, let me show this video of the loaded slow cooker potatoes uh, in case Brooklyn's still watching and it looks like something um, that she would want to make. Um, Brooklyn's like my niece, she's like 13. I want to get it right because she'll be so mad if I don't. Um, 13, maybe 14, but I think 13. And um, she does a little bit of cooking like when we FaceTimed, um, sometimes I'll be cooking. guest on one of these lives. She lives in Arizona, but I'm sure we can work all this out. And then she'll pick either like these loaded slow cooker potatoes or maybe the macaroni, um, the three cheese macaroni, because I know that she does love her some um, craft mac and cheese. So maybe that'll be like a little like step up for her, something that easy that she can learn how to make with me. And what's so special about that is, you know, she was really close to my mom which was her grandma. So it's not just like I'm teaching her some old recipe that I, I found online. Like these are like recipes that my mom enjoyed and was interested in. And so there's some like significance there. Um, I lost my place for those potatoes though. So let me, I'm almost to them. Okay, so here we go. Let me share them. These are like skillet potatoes. Um, here we go. Oh, so it said something went wrong and it can't play. Dang it. All that hype, right? Um, yeah, there's some really awesome, awesome recipes um, in here. And I'm going to save the rest of them. Oh, maybe it looks like it's playing now. Okay, here we go. So potatoes, please, um, I'm not sure what that one was, maybe, kept, okay, repeat, so that, maybe that's just to keep the pot, pot clean, mmm, so that looks good, my mouth is watering, you add sour cream, and, yeah, those look really good, so, um, yeah, so I was hoping to stay on as long as possible because I was, I'm curious to see how many viewers actually come on late like this. I'm kind of trying to observe the Facebook Live um, audience, I guess you can say, so I get a better idea of when, I, when to come on to get the most responses because that's what it's all about is just communicating and learning and you know um I guess like developing like an environment to come and watch lives and talk about cooking talk about recipes talk about anything to do with cooking grilling baking um the more I can do this the more I can learn and just kind of express what's up with awesome comments so thank you for those and I had better go ahead and <clears throat> in this live so that I don't run out of things to talk about for next week's live um, this coming Saturday I am searching for my guest appearance and I believe right now it looks like it's going to be one of my best friends, Christina. She lives in Victorville and um, we'll be using her kitchen so that should be fun and um, Christina if you're watching this hopefully we can arrange that and um, but yeah I don't know what we're making yet. We're still in the process of figuring all of that out. It might change. Um, I might stick around here and not go to Victorville. It all kind of depends, but I'm a little, I'll get it figured out by tomorrow. 
and let everybody know what's going on for Saturday. Um, but in the meantime, um, thank you so much for watching this live. Thank you for following the channel. after midnight over here so I'm going to save this to my YouTube and um, my YouTube channel which is my mother's menu and um, see you guys next Saturday <laughs>